The number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the U.S. is fast approaching 5.2 million with more than 166,000 deaths. Although hospitalizations and infection rates are decreasing in some parts of the U.S., nearly half of the country is facing a rising number of deaths. Here's ABC's Rena Roy. In the past 24 hours, the United States has reported the nation's highest number of deaths in a single day, as some major cities emerge as possible new hotspots. I worry about a perfect storm. Researchers at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, whose data is used by the COVID task force, say that storm is brewing in Chicago, Boston and Baltimore, predicting the virus will hit them hard. We're just seeing significant transmission in all three of those cities that's happening late in the summer, acknowledging that they only have weeks left before the nights get colder and the transmission dynamics may actually worsen. This as more and more children test positive across the country. Health experts say 338,000 kids have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Please go by science. Parents and teachers on edge with the new school year. Some teachers in Arizona and Texas resigning in fear of in-person learning. This certainly was not a, a decision that came to me lightly. I just didn't feel the district had adequate plans to keep both students and teachers safe. Meantime, President Trump is again calling for students to return to classrooms, arguing remote education isn't good for their development we want to take care of our teachers. But we cannot indefinitely stop 50 million American children from going to school. On Wednesday night, the White House released general recommendations for reopening schools, saying the administration will send 125 million reusable masks to schools. Though they're not required, federal officials are encouraging them when social distancing isn't possible. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.